What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day 16 of the Titan program. We have an upper body workout in the books for today. Let's hop into our warm up and get into it. We got a three minute MRAP warm up of five toe touches, five toe touch squats, sorry, five push ups and 10 arm circles in each direction. So we're gonna set up feet shoulder width apart, legs fairly straight, reach our hips back, grab the front of our toes, drop the butt, chest up, and then stand up. Five reps, then we're going five push ups. On your hands, all the way down to the ground, touch the chest, drive back up. And then 10 arm circles forward, and then 10 arm circles in reverse. Cycle through that as many rounds as we can for three minutes. Let's do it, guys. We're going in five, three, one, toe touch squats, let's go. Reach back, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, drop the butt. Minute 30 left. Yeah. seconds team eight three two one let's do it all right so first movement up we got pause dumbbell bench presses and one arm dumbbell rows so we got a minute work for each of those movements. 25 seconds rest. Obviously we're gonna separate the arms on the rows. Max reps on the first set on all those. Mile match on the second set, which means you can take little breaks to get to that same number of reps as the first set. And a drop set on the third. Our target rep range is eight to 12. So last week, if you got 11 or 12 with the weight, you're gonna increase the weight. If you only got eight, nine, 10, then you're gonna keep the same weight and you're gonna to try to beat your reps. I got 65 for 12 on the chest press. So I'm gonna go up one increment to 70. We're gonna go here. Nice and slow down. One, two second pause in the bottom. As low as you can get in that stretch position. Drive up, lock out. Nice and slow, pause, drive. I'm gonna take a couple reps just to warm it up. Then 
We got one arm dumbbell rows. Elbow tight to your side on this one. So I know we had two variations in this workout, not today's workout, but over the week. So you're gonna go elbow tight to the side, big stretch at the bottom, drive up. I again got 12 reps here. So I'm gonna go up and wait, big stretch, pull back towards the hip, nice and slow down, and then we'll switch sides for the opposite side. All right, I was doing 80s, or an 80 on that. So I'm gonna go 85. Any questions, team? I'm just gonna get my weights out ready. I gotta do rows with 80. And I'm gonna go 70 on my pause press. We're gonna go in about 10 seconds. This is our max rep set, team. Get as many as you can, either beating your reps or increasing weight. In three, two, one, and work. Come on. Full range of motion. Pause at the bottom for two seconds. seconds team we got one arm dumbbell rows max out gonna track nine I'm gonna use straps for this in three one let's work Pull back towards the hip, big stretch at the bottom. Nine there too. Woo. All right, team. Finish up. Twenty seconds. Pushing arms. We're gonna match. Same number of reps in the left arm. Focus on that slow descent, stretch, drive with the back muscles, and work. Seconds, team. Come on. We got a one minute rest coming up. This is our Mayo match set. So we keep the same num same weight on both of those movements, and we get the same number of reps, so we can include a short break. So I had to hit the nine on both. I might do six reps, take a five to eight second break, 
and then complete the last three. I'm going to stretch out in between just to open up the chest and shoulders a bit. Get right to these presses. Those babies are heavy. Come on, this is how you get better. Every week, one more rep, a little bit more weight. You do that time after time after time with some consistency. Next thing you know, you look back a year later and your whole body looks different. 12 seconds, team, let's do it. Back to your chest presses, pause, two second pause. Reach that chest towards the sky. Three, one, and work. <clears throat> Big stretch, one, two. Best rep, last rep. Come on. I got six again. Three to go. a drop set so same weight you're gonna max out on reps as soon as you get to your first break point you're gonna immediately drop those heavier weights pick up a weight that's lighter I'm gonna go from 70s to 50s I'm gonna go from 85 to 65 on my rows or 60 sorry yeah I'm gonna go 85 to 60 and 70 to 50 yeah 
We get the weights ready. 60. And 50. 15 seconds, team. Come on. 10. We're going pause, dumbbell chest presses. In three, two, one. Let's go. As many as you can get. Perfect rep, stretch. Five. Don't worry about the timer. Come on. All right, team, I'm gonna give us an extra 25. Recover a bit. 20 seconds. We got up, we got rows. Go heavy, drop. Oh, going in 10. I'm gonna track my, I got six, and five. All right, we're going rows, two. Can't work. Keep working, team. Opposite arm coming up. Left arm, try to match the same reps on the left. You got on the right. Team seven. Two, one, and work. Team. On to our next circuit. So, this one we got some optional movements. We got incline dumbbell bench press. So, that one's not optional. The next one is pull ups or pull overs. So, if you have a pull up bar and you can do pull ups, we'll do that. If not, you're gonna do pull overs. 
So for the incline dumbbell chest press, bench on a slight incline. There's no pause here. You'll still hit a gentle pause at the bottom. Same concept of max reps. Mile match the second set. Deep stretch here. Drive up, lock out. Nice and slow down. Now, if you have a pull-up bar, you can go on to pull-ups. If you don't, you can do pull-overs. So pull-overs look like this. You're gonna grab the head of the dumbbell, head near the edge of the bench. Big stretch at the bottom, and then pull back over. Only a very slight bend in the elbows. Feel that stretch in the pecs, <clears throat> and, you're, and you're back. And if you wanna do pull-ups, you're gonna go overhand grip, shoulder width, big stretch at the bottom, pull, chin above the bar. Nice and slow down, full extension every time. Let's get an extra 30 seconds. See what I got. So, same concept. If you hit 11 or 12, you go up in weight. I hit 60 pounds for 12 on my incline dumbbell chest, so I'm gonna go to 65 there. On the pull-ups or pullovers, 8 to 12 again. I got 11 last week. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of weight, a five pounder between my legs, and try to drop that rep range down to around eight or nine is my goal. So, I hold the dumbbell either between my feet or between my legs like so, whatever's more comfortable. Or if you have a dip belt, you can use that as well. Maybe I'll use my dip belt just to make that part a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna go with a 30 degree incline on the bench team. 65s, we're going in 10 seconds. Max reps here. In five, three, two, one, let's work. Come on. Big drive. here so it's normal to make this should feel a little harder than if we were doing it fresh I'm gonna try a 10 pounder on my pull up we'll see how it goes try to get me five three one and work team come on sorry our mile match set. Now we just gotta match the reps from the first set. I'm just gonna hang, stretch out for a second. Try to open up the chest and back, shoulders. <laughs> 30 seconds, team. Whew. 
I had to get nine and eight. Nine on the chest press. I might go six and three again. Ten seconds, team. Let's get ready. Three, one. Nice work. timer. I'll give us extra time if we need it. Come on. Press <laughs> team. I'm going to give us an extra 10 before we do our pull-ups. Break it up however you need to. Eight. Three. One. Come on, team. Pull ups or pull overs. Five, I need three. Oh. 20 seconds, man. drop set team so I'm gonna drop from 65 to 45s on the incline presses and I'm gonna drop from 10 to body weight on the pull-ups gonna track in the weights for now if you don't want to do a, um, a drop set on the pull-ups that's okay you can continue on your set Get my weights out. Just adjust as quickly as you can. Even if you're using adjustable weights. We're going to the eight second team. Final set, drop set on chest presses. Three, one, and work. Six. 
six and four. Oh, whoo! All right, team. I'm gonna give us a few seconds extra to do the pull up for pullovers. Oh. Fifteen seconds. Hit your max reps, and then drop weight. If you're doing pull ups, you can go body weight. Three. Let's work. Come on. To our shoulders now. The caveat here is we got a higher rep range coming. So we're going for 15 to 20 is our rep range here, depending on what you did last week. If you hit 19 or 20, you're gonna go up in weight. If you didn't, you're gonna stay the same weight and try to beat the reps. I got 17 on both of these movements with 15 pounds on the H roll. Same thing on the lateral. So now I'm just trying to beat 17 with 15 pounds. So our first move is H rolls. You're gonna set up on that same incline bench here. We're gonna straddle it. I like to keep a little bend in the elbows like this. And you're gonna do an overhead with the elbow bend. And then with those arms bent, you're gonna come back and you're gonna try to squeeze those shoulder blades back in together like you're squeezing. And we're gonna try to beat the reps here. So it's a roll, you get a little momentum. So you're gonna go here, bend in the elbow, stays up and then back. Up, back. And I'm trying to lift the chest up and squeeze those shoulder blades to the back. You really want to feel the shit burning out of your back of your shoulders, upper back, and your, uh, your shoulders, your traps, and your mid back. Then we're going to seated lateral raise. So you're going to sit on the edge of your, oh, talking too much. You're going to sit on the edge of your bench. You're going to lean forward a little bit. Dumbbells touch in front, kind of in a A formation. And then you're gonna squeeze up, nice and slow back down. Control, try to come up and out to the side. You wanna really feel this in your side delt. I gotta beat 17 on both of these. 15 to 20 is the rep range, team, any questions? Let's do it. We're gonna go 15 seconds, we got H rolls. Come on. We got this and we got a little biceps and triceps left. Three, two, one, and work. Gotta be 17. Don't worry about the timer if you go over with these higher rep things. I'll give us some more time. Seconds. Don't be beat it by one is the goal. Uh, 
Stretch out a bit. Now we got the seated laterals. Come out to the edge of your seat enough so you can get those dumbbells underneath your butt. And then use those delts to lift. Two. And work. Come on. I gotta beat 17. Come on, don't let pain stop you. Holy smokes, I got 18. Literally, it's all mental on that. Those shoulders burn so bad. Oh, how are we feeling? <laughs> this is like a blowtorch on my shoulders. Oh. And I ain't beating it by a lot here, guys. This is one rep a week. But that's an extra three reps a week. That's an extra, you know, you do that week over week. It's extra nine reps, six reps, 12 reps. I can't even type right now. I'm holding my hand up on the rack. We got a one minute rest team. And then we got our mile match set. Come on. Bench is back on an incline. H roll is coming up. Match your reps. You can take little breaks now. I'm gonna go 12 and six with my mental goal to target. Upper back and shoulders are just absolutely pumped right now. Five, three, one, and work. Come on. Only got the 10. All right, team, see the laterals. You can break them up. Break them up to keep your technique on point here. Seven. Whew. Three. One. Let's go. I gotta get 18 again. Four more. Oh. Four. Huh. All right, team. Woo. All right, for the H rolls, it's not a drop set. It's just a match set. On the lateral raises, it is a drop set. So I'm gonna go from 15s um, to 10.
So the eight rolls, we just do my own match to whatever you got the first set. A little break. So see the laterals I am gonna drop after I hit my first failure point. We got 30 seconds, team. Come on, hang in there with me. It's Monday, baby. Come on, let's start this week four off right. We're halfway through the program. Getting better every week. Oh. 10 seconds. Come on, might be at 18 H rolls. Three, one, and work. Let's do it. Oh. All right, see the lateral team drop sets. Hit to your first failure point where you feel like you need to set them down and then drop to that lighter weight. Five, two, one, and work. Low descent, try to feel it. That's it. I got ten and five. Oh. Two. One, rest, team. All right. We got an incline dumbbell tricep kickback, or this is an A or B, depending on what equipment you have, a banded tricep push down. So I've been doing the banded tricep push back, push down. 15 to 20 is our rep range here. I got 20 last time, so I'm gonna add another little mini band to my set. If you guys don't have a band, if I can get it out of the closet without taking everything down. If you guys don't have a band, you can do an incline tricep kickback, which I'll show you. So, if you have bands, hook them on something high. You can also use a tricep, you could also use a cable machine. If you have a cable machine with a bar or a rope, whatever you kind of have available to do a tricep push down. If you don't have anything like that, we're gonna do them on a bench. So, you're gonna lay on your bench on an incline. Elbows are up at your side, and you just squeeze back at the tricep. Try to hold at the top for a split second for max reps. Again, our rep range is 15 to 20 here, so that's higher rep range. If you have the bands, you're gonna grab down low, palms facing each other, come down, squeeze, lock out, come all the way back up so your biceps touch your forearms, and squeeze back down. Oh, that feels heavy. See if that extra band works. Then we're going curls, hammer curls. I got 19 reps last time with 20 pounds, so I'm gonna go up and wait too. 19 or 20, you're going up and wait. Anything below that, you're trying to beat your reps with the same weight. So, for this, palms are facing each other. 
and you're gonna curl straight up and then nice and slow down. Try to keep your elbows at your side, a little bit in front of your body. We don't wanna be back here. Here, curl all the way up, nice and slow down. Lock out the elbow. I'm gonna go with 25 pounds there and try to max out. Any questions, guys? Let's do it. I'm gonna try to beat. We're going in seven seconds. Tricep kickbacks on an incline or press downs on a cable or band. Two, one, and work. Resist on the way down or Last circuit of the day. Now we got our mile match set. We can take a little break. I'm just making a note purple and skinny black band. All right, 30 seconds, guys. Come on. Oh. We got tricep push downs or kickbacks on the incline. Match your reps from that first set. We're going in 12. I'm gonna try to go 10 and seven as the mental goal. Two, one, work. Low on the way up. We're on the way down if you don't take back. Little break, I got 10, 25 seconds. Oh, 
Got seven. 25 seconds, team. We got hammer curls. Match your rep. Little break. Five. Two. Work. Come on. both bands down to one the skinny band for my drop set <clears throat> and I'm gonna go from 20 to 15 on my hammer curls we're just looking to pump out as many reps as we can with the heavy weight immediately drop to the lighter weight and just try to look for that burn that's all we're looking for we're not trying to beat any reps we're not trying to beat anything just focus in on the muscles that you're intending to work and try to make that shit hurt as bad as you can. That's the only goal. That's the number one objective. Make it hurt. 10 seconds. Like in a good way. Not in like a, my elbow hurts, but the pain that you feel when you're just pumping as much blood in there as you can. Let's work, come on. Slow. Triceps, that's all we're thinking. Stretch. Working if you are. Woo. Awesome work, team. That's day 16 in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll be back tomorrow to crush those legs. Have an awesome rest of your Monday, guys. I will see you manana. Bye. What the hell am I doing? Sorry, guys. Jump the gun there. So that curls. <laughs> I'll do that outro again at the. Uh, Next one. <laughs> 15 seconds, team. We got our hammer curls. I'm going 25 to 15. That's how bad I just wanted to get out of here. I was like, I don't want to do these biceps. It's going to hurt. Let's go. Come on. Up, slow on the way down. Feel the bicep work. Slower than you would even normally go. Make it hurt faster. All biceps you're worth thinking about. Actually done. 
and for real this time that's day 16 in the books thank you guys have an awesome rest of your monday like i said i'll see you tomorrow for that lower body work have a good one bye